next on the list, let's talk about Rick Owens' full 2024 menswear. So I didn't mention this before because I forgot. But I think Rick Owens' full 2024 men's um, that showcased in Paris was legitimately one of my favourite uh, menswear collections of date. To date, sorry. Um, most of you know that I have an extreme love affair with Rick Owens. I have many, many pieces of Rick Owens in my wardrobe at the moment. I'm currently running, training, lifting weights and dieting and fasting and stuff so i can fit back into a lot of that stuff right so that's how much i love the clothes i love the clothes so much i am punishing my body in all manners of ways in order to fit back into the stuff that i can't fit into at this current moment so i absolutely fucking love rick owens and this collection here might be one of my favorites that i've seen to date just because of the of the description of how rick owens is talking about some of the things that he's obviously designing in this actual show and one of the things that stood out to me that i absolutely loved that i wanted to mention was obviously some of these weird alien like um inflatable boots that he kind of did in collaboration with this designer from central st martins he's a young kid i forgot his name precisely but they're really cool they're basically um i think they're inflatable essentially there is these inflatable things that go around your fucking legs up above your knee and they look absolutely mental um obviously they're gonna be very very divisive and very marmite to most people right that fucking see them but the thing i love the most about this absolute collection apart from some of the outwear that looks fucking fantastic great shorts is the addition of these kiss boots these kiss boots from rick owens most of you will know what the rick owens kiss boots look like they've always been a bit difficult for me to wear or always been difficult for me to picture myself wearing um because they're very extreme looking right i'll kind of show you what they kind of look like right rick owens uh kiss boots they're ones i've always kind of wanted to wear but they kind of just look a little bit too much out there for me and i wanted maybe to kind of have them smoothed out but having heard what rick owens spoke about in terms of the theme for the full 2024 show it seems like he purposely made these shoes to be a little bit extra and to kind of stand out from the pack in terms of essentially the upper design is essentially just a classic chelsea boot but he's basically made him in an Rick Owens version where he's added these really chunky metal plates at the front that make him look like New Rock boots. You've got this exaggerated, very, very high um, forefoot that makes the shoe look inc that's incredibly, incredibly high. I don't know if it adds like six inches to it or something. And then you've got this incredible transparent heel and there's all this space in between. So essentially he makes them into like a men's version of a, of a high heel shoe. That could easily be a wedge. If this was kind of filled in and the heel wasn't transparent, they'd probably be a lot more easier to wear and it probably would end up appealing to more people. But the fact that they look the way that they look is definitely something that kind of makes them stand out from most shoes that are available out there in the market, right? Especially when it comes to like the traditional Chelsea boot that you kind of know and love. And obviously, as you can see here from the silhouette, they look very, very feminine looking when you see them from the side because of the addition of the heel, but even more so when you have the translucent heel. But what I love about the updated version that they featured in the full 2024 collection is that from what I can see, again, I've got these screenshots that are really hard to see. The picture, the actual quality of them is not the greatest because it's taken from the actual live video feed of the runway show. But as you can see here, He's taken that boot that I love or that I wanted to wear and he's basically made it look a little bit more like a motorcycle boot. So similar to like a Saint Laurent Wyatt boot. So it's got the harness on the side here. So the buckle harness on the side here. It's a bit more flat on the forefoot and it's got a little bit more of a square toe. Whereas on these versions that you see here, they're a bit more pointy. They look a little bit more, dare I say, camp. But I think this version is probably the closest version that you're going to get to a Rick Owens kiss boot that is a lot more quote unquote straight. It, it doesn't make sense, I know. But this these look like the hetero versions of the fucking Rick Owens kiss boots as opposed to the these ones that look way more gayer and way more camp and way more extreme and way probably more striking but these definitely are the ones that kind of fit in a little bit more with everyday people now the funny thing about it now saying that is that on the review of this collection rick owens mentioned that the theme of this was basically he wanted to create clothing that allowed you to stand out at an airport 
I think I think he said something like, "Oh, he doesn't like how uniform we are at airports. How everybody has the same sort of attire, and he wants to kind of bring back the idea of like you know standing out, dressing up, and kind of being other um, when you rock up at an airport, which is something that I've always kind of felt about myself when I go traveling as well, because I'm definitely somebody that's kind of acquiesced inside to wear tracksuits more whenever I'm catching flights. I'm not really actually dressing up, and you know, because I remember when I grew up, when you'd go to the when you'd go on holiday with your parents they'd make you wear like going out clothes on the plane right you'd actually wear like your smart clothes my dad would go to the airport in a suit but nowadays you go to airports and people are literally in their pajamas right they're literally wearing sweats and shit because they want to be comfortable they don't want to be like you know they don't want to feel fucking um all tight and shit on the plane wearing their jeans or their nice outfits so i like the fact that he's made these clothes like look at this fucking crazy look here on number 19 where you got this incredible fabric wrapped around um the the model and it kind of creates this weird knot, but I guess it's kind of essentially it's like a it's like a cloak or it's like a shawl or basically a really big scarf that kind of transforms itself into a coat. But imagine trying to wear this in an airport. Imagine having to take this off while you're going through while you're going through the flipping, you know, while you're going through the security gates, um, which has happened to me plenty of times. Whenever I've worn like a big jacket or something or even big boots, I always have to fucking take them off. So as much as I like the idea of having these clothes stand, make you stand out when you're at an airport, the only issue would be you'd have to fucking deflate these boots. You'd have to take off these ma amazing long jackets and kind of re-put everything back on again in order to kind of acquiesce with all the fucking airport demands. But some of the outwear pieces are absolutely incredible. Um, I love some of the jackets. I love some of the hoodies. Again, there's a really good ed update edition again of the, um, what you call it, the Ramones? I, I forgot what they're called. Are they Ramones or not Ramones? I forgot the fucking name of them. Uh, Geo Baskets, I said. Geo Baskets. There's a pair of Rico and Geo Baskets that have also been updated. You can't actually see them here on these screenshots, but they look like they've got an extra thicker sole. And they look like they're a bit higher. They've kind of increased some inches at the top here. Because I've had a pair of these before. I've had a couple of pair of these before. A, a, a couple of pairs of these over the years. The black and white geo baskets. But it look like they've added another thicker sole. And they've made the collar a little bit higher here at the back. So it looked pretty cool. So those are the two things I kind of spotted that I really liked. And the other thing that I wanted to mention, lastly, was the addition of this ball. I've not seen what it is. I'm hoping it's some sort of like bag. But models were carrying around this ball that was on a chain around their neck. And I'm hoping it's some sort of like um, bag that you can or a compartment that you can kind of use where you can screw it open and put shit in it and stuff. Because that would be a, an excellent place to hide drugs when I'm going clubbing and shit. Where you can kind of have this kind of chain that you wear, but it's got like a secret compartment you can click open and you can put all your fucking gear on the inside there and not worry about people searching your pockets. So I'm hoping that is the case. Or it might just be a bit of jewelry with the ball there. But I do like that ball chain at the end of it because I can stuff as many drugs as I want in there. And then I won't be able, you know, I won't be spotted when I'm in there. Because one of the weirdest things about going to clubs is always the walk up until the club and you're fucking having to, you know, take your drugs and fucking stuff it down your balls. And if you know me and my body and you've been near me, you know I'm a very sweaty guy. So you can just imagine what my fucking under my nuts must look like when I'm stuffing my, you know, my stuff down there. And then I'm having to pull it out and ingest it. So it's like, I mean, it's a bit nasty. I understand it's a bit TMI for some of you out there, but I love to share. And you, sometimes you guys love it when I share. So I'm hoping that some of you guys aren't eating and you're not picturing the thought of me stuffing my very big hands down inside my balls and stuffing some of those plastic baggies in between my nutsack in order to make sure that I have a fun time when I party. I hope you're not picturing that. I really do hope you're not picturing that. But if you are picturing it, I'm sorry. <laughs> 